Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got another manicure to share. I have started off with Neltix Formula 2, and then I'll be using Glam Polish. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? And Glam Polish is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Both of these were special limited edition Facebook group polishes, so I wanted to use them quickly. And then I've got the Posh Top Coat to get it to all dry down. Today I'm going to be stamping with Nicole Diary Silver, and it's NS04, and the Gold, which is NS03. I'll be using my Conaid Stamper and Scraper. And today I've got out a couple of plates. I'm going to use the Bundle Monster 201, and I'm going to use the Rainbow Image. And then I've got this plate from AliExpress, and it's BC01. So I'm going to be using the little crown. So we're going to go ahead and hop on it. And I'm just going to use this little rainbow image and I'm going to do it in gold. <clears throat> and I'm going to do that on all my blue nails. Go right down towards the end. And then I'll be cleaning off on my lint roller. And I just really wanted to do something uh, Wizard of Oz themed. Um, I had watched Angel over at Angel's Heavenly Nails. And she had shown her Wizard of Oz collection. And I just was really inspired and wanted to, you know, get in on the Wizard of Oz thing. Because I really do love that movie. It's one of my all-time favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and do my pinky too while I've got this out. got all the gold ones done on that hand. So we're going to move that plate and we're going to pull this one over. And I really do think that Glam Polish just hit the mark so much with this polish. This is the Glenda Polish, the pink one. And it just so looks like her dress. So I'm going to use the little crown in silver. And the blue is the somewhere over the rainbow. And it really is. It's got rainbow flakies all through it. It's just gorgeous. And this is considered the Dorothy polish. So, enough on the lesson, I suppose. <laughs> Let's get on to the stampin'. But I just wanted to mention that real quick, because I really did think they did just a fantastic job on these polishes. Do it again. Next to the Harry Potter, you know, obsession I have, this was probably one of the first ones I ever had, and I love the Wizard of Oz. So, there we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop them all onto the other hand, because we're wearing the same manicure, <laughs> and I'll be right back. Alrighty, there was practically no cleanup to do, and I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat and seal that design in. And I know it's not showing up just like wicked, you know, in your face, but like some of mine, but um, I really like the delicate look of it. You know, there's such light, pretty colors, and I didn't want to distract from the base polishes. I really wanted to let them shine. Get this one done. Break Woody out. Do a little bit of cleanup. And now I'm going to apply some of the Baroness X cuticle butter or cuticle cream just with a little brush because uh, I don't put any oil or lotion or anything on my hands before I do my manicure because I don't want it interfering with the polish sticking to my nails good. So there we go. And I want you guys to just check that out. All those rainbow colored flakies. Just perfect. Love it. Alrighty. Well, that is my manicure for today. Short and long. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. And that is all I have for today. 
So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.